So, how is everyone doing today? Um, I hope you're all well. I hope you're staying hydrated in this weather. Um, and today's live is just a bit of a catch up, just to let you know what rugby go centers have been doing and you know what we've been up to and stuff like that. But first of all, um, as always, I'd like to welcome all our new members to the group. I hope you enjoy the group and please please feel free to share any experiences, any stories or any places that you think are of interest, you know, we will be more than happy to go and Hi Donna, how are you feeling darling? Hope you're okay. Hope's all well. I will catch up with you soon. Um, be careful, take care my lovely. You know, I'll speak to you and this computer's playing up again, bear with me. Bloody things. So, yeah. So what have we been up to? Well, we have actually, it was brilliant because we had a member of the group join us and they came on an investigation with us and they wanted to use the spirit board or Ouija board, however you want to call it. Um, and they'd never done it before. So we were going to go to an old church. Hello, Paul. Hi, James. Hi. We were going to go to an old church that is always open. It doesn't get used, but it's always open. But unfortunately, the owner has just up and left, so I don't think the church is open, and that would have been a good place to do a spirit board. But we found another little church, um, and there was a certain vibe about it. I didn't particularly like it, because there's something there. I wouldn't say it's bad, and I wouldn't say it's negative, and I wouldn't say it's, it's nasty, but it just likes its presence known. So we took the member of the group with us and he was he was absolutely looking forward to it, absolutely buzzing about it. And obviously Paul was with us because that's one thing I do a lot of is if I use the spirit board then I always like Paul to be with me just in case anything starts or kicks off or fires up, whatever. Touch wood, nothing did happen. Um, Neil, who's actually on the group, who came with us, he was the one that came with us. He did the spirit board with me, and we got some really, really good communications. And he had some paranormal experiences while we were there. We were hearing taps, we were hearing knocking, um, and all of that. And when we closed the investigation and we ended it, um, Neil was very kindly to close the church door for us. And he said, and he will probably tell you this if you ask him, he said it felt like someone pushed the door really hard. Now, it's a heavy church door, and you can't just pull it to. You have to really give it a good tug. And he said he saw a shadow, or he think he saw a shadow, and he had the door pushed on him. But he was absolutely amazed at what we found, and he will be coming on further investigations with us. And yeah, it was a brilliant experience. So one thing I would like to say is anyone in this group who would like to come on investigations with us, you know, please do so. Please get in touch with us. You know, we don't charge. We don't charge you to get in a place or around a place. If you can meet us there, if you have your own transport, all well and good. But if not, we will sort something out. Um, and we've got a big investigation going on at the moment. I'm not saying where because it's all going to be so surprising when we reveal where we've been um, but it's quite a big place and there's a lot of activity within its grounds and it is massive I'll tell you that now it's huge and it's brilliant because we've taken Paul there now I didn't tell him where we were going I just took him to this place and straight away he picked up what spirits were around and speaking to members of staff they have also explained stuff and Paul has explained to them what he's felt and they were like that is exactly what we're feeling that is exactly what we see or what we hear um, so it's really really good that Paul's on board now obviously we've been suggested places that people have gone and said, oh, have you looked into this? Have you looked into that? We have actually been out and about quite a lot 
checking these places out, not straight away jumping in doing an investigation. It's like, oh yeah, this place is haunted, right, let's crack on and do the investigation. The thing with us, myself, not just Paul or myself, but with Richard as well, and any other people, we always go and check the place out first, have a walk around, check the area, see where we can and can't go, see what we can get into, what we can't get into. Um, and then what we do is we go and research, we look into the place. Oh Debbie, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, love and wishes to you darling, you know, please keep in touch, please stay safe. Um, and we're here if you need us. So, oh bless, so sorry Debbie, I really am sorry sweetheart to hear that. Um, you know, our thoughts are with you, of course, as they are with everybody, you know, especially with Donna, obviously, because she's not been very well. You know, we always think about her. We always think about, well, we do as a group, because we're a lovely community, we always think of our members. We're always thinking about them, you know, and we always want to know that they're safe and they're okay. Now, obviously, we did a residential house a few weeks ago. We will be doing another one this week but it won't be an investigation it's just going to meet the person and just get to know them get them to know the house get to know the feel of it because they've got spirit activity going they've got paranormal activity going on and they've kindly asked us if we could go in and you know it's just basically to have a chat check out the house you know and just see what feelings you pick up or i pick up um and what's there this bloody computer is doing my nutting Right, as usual, you probably can't see, but as usual, I've got a very little friend joining me, and obviously she's got her hair down today. Now, those who aren't aware, this is Emily, and I was very kindly given her by Paul, and you probably can't see her. There she is, look. And anyway, over these last few weeks, I've been hearing late at night, I have um, been hearing like a little girl giggle and lots of laughing and noises when I've been downstairs, you know, I've been hearing a lot of noises in our bedroom because she sits on the floor by the side of my bed near the unit and what I was planning on doing is, this bloody computer's doing my nutting, sorry guys. Oh no, I don't want to learn more about it, thank you. Right, there we go. So what I'm going to do is, it's a bit of an experiment as well, while I'm here on the live, I'm going to be putting a, you can't see her, where can I put her so you can see her? I'll tell you what, I'll just have her on my lap, basically. And like I was saying, oh, I'm getting sick of this. No. Right, like I was saying, sorry. Um, this little this little lady I think now there is something actually starting to make its presence known because like I say I've been hearing giggling and laughing and noises upstairs in the bedroom and recently I have been putting her in different positions before we go to bed and she has been not in the same position and weird things are starting to happen around the house nothing bad you know there's nothing bad going on um and whatnot but there is oh, so so sorry guys um like i was saying yeah so this one there is definitely something attached to her i know it i know it but she's not naughty are you you're a good girl you're not naughty but we hear, obviously I've got Rianne, and she's in bed most nights asleep, especially with this heat at the moment, she's been struggling, and she's been sleeping in our room, and obviously I've been hearing noises and things being moved and everything, and I've gone up to check on her, and she's been asleep in our bed, in our room, so it can't be her. Um, so I think this little lady is starting to show her true colours. Now, So one of the things I was going to do today is just sit her with me and I was hopefully going to have her on camera and just see if anything 
goes on with her, you know, if she moves or if her head moves or... This is absolute... I'm losing the plot here. I'm losing the plot. Um, and yeah, and just see if general things move with her and see what she gets up to. But her arms are totally poseable. So, you know, if any of them move or if anything happens, then I would have liked you to see that. Hopefully it will. Um, but yeah, so anyway, we've checked out places that you've suggested to us. We are looking for more locations, but as what? I'm just going to put it down. She's so heavy. Right, you just sit there for yourself. You sit there a minute. There we go. You sit there. Um, what I'm going to do is we've always asked people to suggest locations to us. And they have done, and we have checked them out. Now, even if they don't suggest things to us, we do what normal people do. You know, we go on the internet and we search for places to go. Now, obviously, some places are a little bit too far, but that will progress further. We will be going further out of Warwickshire. And like I say, there's one place that really is appealing and it's a castle that myself and Paul have been to and the staff there have actually been amazed at what Paul has picked up and what Paul has found and our findings when we've relayed them back to them um, they've been really really happy and they are more than happy for us to do an investigation in the castle and have a medium on board with us um, because a lot of these, I don't know how to say this now, um, there's a lot of paranormal investigators out there and I've noticed a lot of them will not use mediums or psychics. Why is that? Why don't they like using them? All the investigations we've done we've always included Paul and like I said before what Paul has picked up even before I say anything to him he's picked up now we did go to a place in Coventry and it's a particular house that no one knows about it's all boarded up and Paul got quite distressed because what he was picking up it was very very sad now there is a police case on it and it is still open and what like I said what Paul was picking up on it almost broke my heart so yeah we've been out and about and we've been doing locations um, and like I say please guys if you do watch the videos we always like our, your comments your feedbacks your opinions you know if you've got any experiments you want us to do and one thing I am going to do very shortly with Emily is that I am going to put her on the floor with a locked off camera and I'm going to be drawing an outline around the way she's sitting and one thing with good experiments like that is if you've got a doll that is not so much possessed but has a spirit attached to it you trace around the figure the doll whatever it is and then you come back the next day and if it's moved it will have moved or talcum powder you know that's one thing is all over my house half the time because obviously having kids you use towel don't you so you know sprinkle the floor with talcum powder that's one thing that i will be doing a lot more of um other than that you know we've just been obviously with the heat as well that's another thing we've not been going out much um, about that but I want to tell you a brief story that we did an investigation and if you've seen the video then you'll understand where I'm on about but we did I did an investigation there and it was near a children's cemetery but it was a big cemetery you know you could fit Canley in it no problem and possibly Oakley would um, you could do that in there 
that's absolutely to fit that in there, no problem. Um, and anyway, I was starting to do the investigations and we were having camera glitches, equipment was playing up, and I went to use the apps on the phone and the phone just died. It just went dead. Nothing. Wouldn't even switch on. And then the cameras started to play up, the cameras would switch off and switch back on again. And that was really interesting and really intriguing because we were having activity there. So, yeah, that's a few things. And like I said, um, you know, whenever we do investigations, we do like people to come up with us and join us. Um, but we, we don't charge. You know, even if we have to go to somebody's house, we don't charge them to do that. It's been a hobby. Paranormal investigating has been a hobby of mine for some years now. I've always been intrigued by it, and it's something I did. Now, how all this come about was, you know, Richard said to me, well, why don't you set up a group? Because, you know, you'll love the paranormal. There'll be people out there who'll be interested. And I was like, no, 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 don't want it. You know, nobody will be interested. But we've got a fair few, like 400 and something odd members now, so I cannot thank you enough for helping me progressing my hobby if you want to call it that way um it's i do it in my own spare time you know any days of the week i get i'm always out it's a busy week or a busy month but i will always find time for anything paranormal so if you've got any locations that you want us to investigate then please do get in touch um and like I say, you know, we don't charge, we don't have any events going, it's just a small community, and if you want to join us, then you are more than happy. And it would be nice, this big event that we've got coming up and we're in at the moment, um, we, it would be nice to have some of you join us. But like I said, you know, we won't be charging or anything. If you can get yourself there, all well and good. If not, we've got transport, we can sort it. So, yeah, so there's a few things. The spirit board with Neil, um, he was really, really amazed at what came through. The word came through Satan, and you know, obviously he saw a shadow, or he thought he saw a shadow. Um, my head's been buzzing because I've been doing a lot of research into these places that people have suggested to us. I will be going back to the famous Northampton murderers and to their headstones. Um, I will be going because I've got a few churchyards that need closures on. I closed Napton a few weeks ago because we've done our investigation there. We will go back there, but not just yet. You know, so basically I've shut that one down now, I've closed it. But if any of you want to start off doing paranormal investigation, you know, there are a few places I can suggest to you that you will get activity. You will pick up on so much stuff. Now, the first place I went to is an abandoned church. Now, it has got a, so to speak, a living cemetery. You know, there are people still being buried there today um, and headstones. And that was when I first started to get into all of this. And I had a really, really good response. And it was one of my favourite places. And I have now obviously closed that down because I've put the spirits to rest that are there. They understand me. I understand them. I've also got a, another favourite cemetery of mine that I absolutely adore. Not only is the church beautiful, but the cemetery and the grounds, the spirits there are so, so welcoming. They are also kind, they are really friendly. They know me because the times I have gone back and I've got set up, it's come through Spirit Talker or Ghost Tube. Oh, you've come back nice to have you back you're really kind you're really nice we don't mind you being here um and like i say the church opposite there is a video on the group because there was a little spirit girl um with the name violet and she she didn't possess me but she was controlling me um and you'll see with cat balls because we have some equipment we've got these cat balls that if you move them then they flash um obviously we've got the grid reference k2s 
um, obviously got the spirit board. Um, it's all been absolutely brilliant, but we are so busy at the moment with checking these places out that people have suggested to us. Um, and obviously, if you've got any concerns, if you've got any spooky things going on in your house or in a building or anywhere like that, you know, we are, we will drop everything literally to come and investigate or check the place out. Um, the only thing, when we do house calls, the only thing we get people to do is just sign a disclaimer. Um, but that's just basically, you know, do you agree? To have it on film do you agree to going it up on the on the page um, and they either put yes or no and they're happy and that obviously we go in we don't provoke the spirits we don't try and get rid of them we don't cross them over unless they want to be crossed over you know when we do these house calls we go in there and we kindly ask about a bit of the history of the place you know if there was any previous owners what it was like um, so for example if you've got a mansion or a big country house and say for example someone said to us you know can you come and investigate this house because I've got a lot going on what we would do is we would go and have a chat with the occupant and we would find out what experience they've been having and what activities going on and then if they could give us a bit of a brief history you know maybe it could have been like it could have been a workhouse before it was their house you know so it's going back to the history of who was in the workhouse what kind of workhouse was it when did it date, date back to and it's all things like that that we do as paranormal investigators I mean I've got loads loads of books on places and history about these places um, so it's all really all ongoing Now, another thing I want to pick up on, so I've just got to get back to this message. Right, there we go. Sorted. Um, another thing I want to pick up on is the experiences I've had. Now, they've not been bad experiences, but some of them have not been good. There is a video that me and Paul did that we got quite an aggressive spirit and I ended up throwing stuff at him, hoping he'd throw the stuff back. But he kindly called me a see you next Tuesday and I got called other words as well. Now that is a video that is on the group and like I've said before, you know, we want you to watch our videos, we want you to give your opinions, we welcome your opinions. You know, if you want to criticise on the video, criticise, because it just makes us better. You know, it just makes us improve what we're doing. Um, comment, share your opinion, share your stories, pictures, whatever. Um, because I don't mind. Because the more input I get from you guys, you know, the better it is and the better I will get. Now, myself and Paul, and obviously Richard, but Richard's a tech guy, he does all the camera work and putting the videos together and all stuff like that. Paul obviously is the medium and the things he's, I mean I cannot praise Paul enough because what he's found out and what he picks up on is absolutely amazing. Um, you know, and I don't see why all these other investigators that are out there, I don't see why they don't have mediums. Why not have a medium on board? Because a medium will give you more, what's the word, a more clearer picture to what spirits are there. So I really don't like it when these paranormal groups, you know, whether they're across the pond in America or whether they're, you know, in Mexico, England, America, Canada, Alaska, Australia, whatever. Um, a lot of them will not use mediums. Now, I really don't understand why. Do they not want to use mediums because they want people to think that they 
I've got to be careful what I say now because I don't want it to sound like I'm having a pop up of the paranormal groups because I'm not. But there's a lot of paranormal groups investigators in America that totally blank refuse to use mediums. Why? Why not use a medium on an investigation? Why not have a psychic on board? Because they're going to be your best port of call to get a clearer picture of what is going on. Now, if someone said to me, you know, I don't mind you doing an investigation, but I don't want a medium, I'd be like, well, why? And I'd be like, well, I'm not doing it then. You know, if I can't bring my medium friend with me and fellow investigator, then I don't want to do it. Because it really, really does rock me off. And I'm probably going to have a bit of a rant now. But it really, really does piss me off about these investigators because they won't have mediums. Why will you not put a medium in your group? What is wrong with them? What is wrong with you? You know, do you not like it because they find things out before you do? Do you not like it because they know things that you don't? Um, like I say, and a lot of things have pissed me off just recently. Um, and things have just been pissing me off with regards to paranormal investigations. Um, and it's not just here, but it's across the pond as well and everything. And I was watching one the other night on Really. I think it was Really Channel. It might have been YouTube, actually. I don't know. Anyway, it was one of them, I think. And this paranormal group were absolutely laying into mediums and chronic. Mediums are fake. They don't know what they're on about. They don't know blah, blah, blah. You know, we don't have mediums on board because we don't like working with them. Because they're a bunch of tossers. No, Paul, I'm not calling you a tosser. Far from it, darling. Love you to bits. But some people will say, oh, they're absolutely fake. You know they're full of shit you know they just want all the all the grace and all the virtue of it and everything but anyway there's this program and i was i said to my, i thought to myself you know why and they actually found out that a medium would degrade them because that's their investigation that's their group that's you know, they've been in America for ages now, and they're well known, and they've done a lot of investigations, but they won't have mediums because it's going against their reputation. Now, it's not ghost adventures, if that's what you think it is, because that's just a complete crock of shit, and we know that. But I just don't understand why paranormal groups do not have mediums on board. Yes, okay, some probably do, and some probably don't mind it having it because it gives a clearer picture. But then there's some of them, as soon as you say, oh, I've got a medium with me, no, nope, that's it, brick wall, shut down, they don't want to know. And I think it's really bad, and I know Paul's on the group, thank you Donna, I'm glad you agree with me sweetheart. Now, obviously, Paul is on the group, he is a medium, and it does, it racks me off, because, do you know what, I'm going to shut up, because I'm just going to end up losing the plot here, and having a go at a few investigators. Obviously, we're not, Rugby Ghost Hunters, we're not the best, you know, far from it, we are not, we haven't got a TV show, we, we're not in newspapers, we're not in... You know, I've got the YouTube channel and we've got the Facebook page. You know, we're not worldwide. We're not on BBC News. We're not in the papers. We're not, you know, we're not on telly. We're not on any, any channels, you know. And why? Why do you want to do that as paranormal investigators? Obviously, you know, oh, I don't, I'm going to shut up anyway. I'm just going to shut up on that. Um, case closed shut up, don't say anything but yeah anyway um, what was the other thing I wanted to talk about yeah churches that was it now most of us or most of people that are on the group um, 
our Church of England, some are Catholics, and I don't understand why the Church of England do not like paranormal investigators. I don't understand why they don't like people doing that. Some people have probably said, oh, because you're conjuring up evil, you're doing this, you're doing that. You know, me and Neil and Paul, we did the spirit board in the church. Admittedly, there was nobody in the church, but it is open in the day. Um, what's wrong with doing spirit board in a church? You know, we're not conjuring, conjuring anything. We're trying to get communication. And this is where Christian and Catholics are different. Because when you're of the Catholic faith, they do really really go for stuff like that because obviously the catholics you've got the priests and the fathers and the high almighties whatever and they will do exorcisms they will do cleansing they will do deal with demonic possession or whatever you want to call it but why don't us church of england goers now i am church of england but i don't bible bash i don't go around preaching the bible i've got my beliefs and everything but I would be, I would love it if we could do a paranormal investigation in, we are what? Yes, we are. Yes, we are, Paul. That, I love that show, as you well know, and you do as well. You know, we could call us the three amigos. I mean, I've picked up so much on their show and I take in, I watch their show and I see the equipment that they've got and how they go about things. Um, so yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you could say that. You could say that, Paul. Um, yeah, Emily's just sitting here quietly. She's not doing much. I don't know, I just have to keep talking to her. I have to keep picking her up and I have to keep talking to her. And yeah, you're gonna say hello. You say hello, you say hi but she's a little darling she's beautiful um and this one she doesn't answer me back yet but there is definitely something with her and things are starting to get a bit weird in the house but we'll sort it we'll get it and if it gets too bad then obviously i just call upon paul and paul can babysit her for a few days and find out a bit more about her isn't that right emily yeah yeah yes please right yeah so right i'm gonna put her back down before I break her. So, yeah, that's really all really today. And basically, just to catch up and a welcome to our new members. And like I said, if you've got any experiences, any stories, any pictures, or anything you want to tell us about, or if you'd like us to investigate, or just check the place out, you know, please let us know. Nine times out of ten, you can always PM me or you can PM Paul. Um, but a lot of my time is you'll probably find me in the library you'll probably find me um, just out and about wandering around now I am going to be doing an investigation very soon and it's not a building it's not a church it's not a cemetery it is something totally different all I'm gonna say it is a disused railway that's it a disused railway I'm not giving the location where it is because there is quite a few and also there are some tunnels which I would like to get into because the activity there is absolutely hyperactive there's loads of activities there um, but like I say we're ongoing at the moment with this case that we've got going on so they've kindly asked us to help um, and we've been into the grounds and we've been around the place and just checked it out there is a place in Birmingham that I really would like to go, but I've got to do more research into that place. Because um, apparently it was a military prison, but then it was a hospital, and it was a workhouse. It was everything. Um, so that's really good. So yeah, so just a brief chat and a catch up today, and welcome to all our new members. And like I say, if you've got anything going on, you know, or if you've got suggestions of places you know please let us know and please 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 if i want to stalk you i stalk you i haven't started on you yet mr creswell but he knows he's watching so see he knows what i've got to be he knows so i'm like to be quiet 
So basically, yeah. So we'd love for you to keep watching our videos and you know, giving us comments, giving us feedbacks. You know, if you want to really lay into one of the videos and give us criticism, do so. But you'll get it back. You know, with all the investigators that are out there, like I say, whether they're across the pond or whether they're here, um, you know, we're not in comp competition with each other. We don't think, oh, your investigation group is better than mine and all of this, you know. It doesn't work. We don't work like that. You know, we are a community group that has helped fulfill my dream and obviously you could say it's a career of mine but I don't get any money coming from it you know we don't advertise on TV we don't sell merchandise we don't you know we don't ask for anything you know I know back in July obviously the car was taken and all my kit and you know you guys were very kindly I didn't ask, but you guys were really kindly enough to donate money towards building my kit back up. Um, and I can say now the kit's all virtually all back and running. Obviously, Paul's got a new sensor that we're going to be using. I'm going to be looking in purchasing a music box or get Richard to make me one. Um, Rempod. You know, we're getting all the things like that. The bigger the kit, the better. And if you see three crazy people walking around with two big massive suitcases and a bag and some woman gobbing off saying, are you there? Are there any spirits here? You know, it's me. It's Rugby Ghost Hunters. So, yeah, all in all, everybody stay safe. Please, please, please stay hydrated in this heat. It's not nice for everyone. You know, the heat isn't as what it used to be. I can't stand the heat, it really does get to me, everybody gets arsy, everybody gets cranky, you know, it's, it's really horrible, so, yeah, um, oh, and one more thing before I go, I don't like people who basically lie through the back of the teeth, because, there's been some issues that I think we've got a bit of a snitch in the group. Now, we weren't going to say this, but I'm going to say it because I can't keep it in. And me being me, I just tell it like it is. I think we've got a bit of a snitch in the group because, and like I say, this is not having a go at anybody else or far from it, but we've mentioned a lot of places that we would like to investigate but obviously we can't but then we find out that other people have gone there and there's one particular place we've been asking for a long time and all we get turned around was no we don't allow it we don't allow it you know we don't do things like that nothing like that and then a few weeks down the line I found out that there's been an investigation group fuck off Paul Sorry guys, I shouldn't swear. Gobby Joe, yeah, that's me to a T, darling. I don't give a shit, I'm having a rant at the moment. Um, there was this one particular place we've been wanting to go for months now, well, years even, and it's always been an interest of mine. We've been in contact with them, absolutely. No, we don't allow paranormal investigators in there. We don't allow stuff like that. A few weeks down the line, what do I find out? There's been a paranormal investigation group gone into this particular place they blatantly lied to me and said no we don't allow it so what have they done have they paid for them to do that because that's one thing we don't do as rugby ghost hunters we do not charge we do not we don't pay for people to go in oh i'll give you such and such if i can go in your building and that's one thing that has really pissed me off and but it doesn't matter because we're getting better now some of you will probably say oh you're being childish joanne for fuck's sake grow up you know, no, I won't grow up. Um, yes, I've got to excuse my language, but I'm having a rant now. Once I get going, Paul will tell you, once I get going, I don't stop. And, you know, but we've got better places. We've got a lot of better places. And like this big investigation that's going on at the moment, um, obviously we can't do weekends because they have events on and everything. Um, but this is going to be massive. And this will be a real first for Rugby Ghost Hunters. And what's more 
appealing is that they are so so happy to have a medium on board um, and with what we found out and what we've told them so far they've been absolutely gobsmacked and amazed so they're really looking forward to working with us and we're really looking forward to working with them so anyway enough from me because I'm going to shut up otherwise I'm going to get myself into trouble but the way I feel I don't care say it how it is um, yeah if you've got any any queries or any suggestions or if you've got anything going on and you want someone to check us out yeah, if you want us to check it out should I say then you know we can do so and please 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 we would love people to join us you know it doesn't matter if you can't get there we will get you there you know we'll even buy your coffee we'll even we'll even buy your coffee you know we'll look after you and that's what we did with Neil you know obviously Neil didn't have transport so we picked him up and we took him to the church and we did the spirit board session and he loved it and he wants to do it more with us so hopefully a new mem like I say he'll hopefully if we do more investigations with him if he's able to come and join us then that's fine and this is what we want we want people to join us we want people to actually you know come and experience it because Neil never experienced anything like this before and he was very very curious about doing a Ouija board and to be honest, maybe he was a bit apprehensive, but honestly, he really enjoyed it. Yes, Satan come through and other words and stuff like that. And, you know, but nothing bad has happened. And this is another thing. I'm going to go in a minute. I really am. I'm going to, enough of me waffling on. I'm just going to let you go. Um, but this is another thing is why are people so scared of Ouija boards and spirit boards? What is wrong with you? If you know how to open it properly and you treat the board with respect and you close it properly, you've got no problem. You know, I've always been fascinated with Ouija boards and everybody's like, oh, don't mess with the Ouija board. You don't know what you're doing. No, you don't know what you've been doing because you've not been doing it right. And so you've asked for trouble. You've caused the trouble. And, you know, I love my spirit board. I absolutely love it. And I will use it in cemeteries. I will use it in churches. And like I say, this investigation with, that's coming up, I will be using it there. Um, and they're quite happy for me to be using a Ouija board there. Um, they don't mind. So, yeah, I'm going to shut up now and let you all get on with your Sunday afternoon. I've had my rant. I've had my say. I do apologise. But, yeah. All in all, we'll leave it there. It is now nearly quarter to three. So, yeah, we'll leave it there. So everyone stay safe. Everyone have a great week. And if this heat wave continues, please, please, please do stay safe. Stay hydrated. Stay out of the sun between the hours of 11 and 1. Um, you know, and just try and keep yourself cool. And just chill out, you know. <coughs> but there you go. So until we meet again and when we do investigations we will all see with you very soon so as always like i always say stay safe happy hunting and we will see you on our next adventure so from me richard paul and emily and anybody else in the group have a great sunday and i'll speak to you all soon bye